fact, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is the world's leading cause of bad vacation photos. And while the Leaning Tower is the poster child for stuff being built wrong, most people don't know why it leans or how it's still standing to this day. I'm Matt Silverman. Welcome back to Now I Know, a show that, like Pisa's tower, impresses thousands of weekly visitors by not having fallen apart by now. Construction on Pisa's tower began in 1173 and was completed in the 1370s. That's 200 years of construction, or roughly half the lifespan of a New York City scaffold. We all know the leaning tower leans, 13 feet off its center at approximately a four degree angle. But why? Well, the tower owes its longevity to its slow construction. Because it's built on a marsh, the completed tower would have fallen centuries ago if not for the constant wars that delayed its construction over 200 years. The unfinished tower was able to settle into the earth and stabilize itself. Thanks, war. But in 1989, the Leaning Tower became a lot less cute when a similar Leaning Tower in Milan collapsed and killed four people. The tower in Pisa was shut down to the public and researchers were tasked with saving the cultural landmark. The solution took nearly a decade because they didn't want to straighten the tower or fortify it with any modern materials. And paying tourists to hold it up was out of the question. Researchers still weren't sure why the tower was leaning in the first place. Enter Professor John Berland of the Imperial College London. Professor Berland is the Indiana Jones of dirt. He installed 120 sensors in and around the tower and received data by facts twice a day from every sensor for two years. If I get more than two notifications a month from an app, I destroy my phone with a hammer. But Berlin is stronger than I am. And so with the help of the data, he discovered both the problem and the solution. He would drill slivers of soil out of the northern side of the tower, bit by bit, allowing gravity to coax the tower back into stability. It worked, and the tower was able to reopen in 2001, which confirms the advice that I always give to young people. If you can't solve a problem, go outside, dig hundreds of small holes, and eventually the problem will just solve itself. In 2003, Berlin discovered that the water table on the northern side of the tower would rise about one foot every rainy season. So over time, the rising water pushed the tower into its famous lean. Since Berlin's fix went into place in 2003, the tower's tilt has remained constant saving millions of bad vacation photos. And also saving a cultural heritage site and stuff. These videos would not be possible without the generous support of our Kickstarter backers. And a special thanks goes out to everyone listed here who contributed at the second tier. Your support means the world to us. And an extra special thanks goes to gold tier contributors, Seamus Hempenstall, Phil Berberian, the Bohal family and Hive Digital, and Kathy McCullough. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy these fascinating facts and interesting stories, why not lean on one of those like and subscribe buttons down there? And I will see you in the next one.